Hi guys. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel in order not to miss any good news. And share this video. Andrew, how's this week of practice been for you, ramping up? How are you feeling entering uh, game one on Saturday? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know, feeling good. You know, just being out there and, you know, practicing and working hard with my guys and, you know, preparing for, you know, this playoff push. Do you have any clarity on what kind of role you'll play on Saturday, whether that's starting or coming off the bench and, you know, any type of men's restriction you might be on? Um, nothing that, you know, I know of yet, but, you know, if whatever the trainers and the coaches, you know, decide to do. Do you feel like you can play extended minutes if needed? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. You know, I feel good. You know, I've been working hard, been practicing hard, you know, getting back to it. Um, but, you know, whatever the coaches and the training staff think is, is right, um, that's real good. Andrew, how uh, weird would it be? You've never come off the bench in your career. Like, is that a factor that that might be the most awkward experience? Um, I wouldn't say it would it, be different. It would be different, something that, you know, obviously I, I haven't done since I've been, you know, in the NBA. Um, you, know, we're, you know, I'm down for whatever, you know, help the team and whatever we need. Would the last time you came back, and you had missed a lot of time before. It probably was a unique adjustment. How much does that come into play now? You talking about earlier in the season? Uh, yeah, when oh, it was yeah. a couple weeks. Um, I feel like it's kind of different, you know, because before I was dealing with an injury, coming back from an injury. And I'm not coming back from an injury, so I feel feel normal, I feel fresh. I just, there's no, like, I'm just nothing, like, I don't think my body's going to hurt if I do that or scared or anything. I just I feel fresh. I feel good. How do you think, how would, like, coming off the bench potentially, like, impact your rhythm or your, just your ability to get going? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure, you know? I'm not too sure. Um, but I feel like it'll be the same thing, for real. Um, you know, just being out there, you know, executing and doing what I do. I feel like whether it's starting, coming off the bench, and I still think I'll, I'll be the same player. This, this is different, you said, because in the past it was coming back from an injury. This one isn't an injury. So I guess it's kind of picking, backing off of Maddie's question. How do you expect it, how long do you expect it, I guess, to take to reintegrate yourself into action on the court, wherever the minutes are coming from, whatever that role looks like, just get that rhythm back and, and flow the game. She's going to step on the court. I mean, I'm feeling good. I feel like I had a you know, great couple days of practice. You know, I'm feeling good about myself, the team. Um, so when we play, I, right where I left off, I'm going to try to start. Last season, you were really, really important to your guys' championship run. I mean, do you view yourself and you returning kind of as an X factor to stabilize maybe some of the up and downness that that has happened over the season as you guys make this playoff push um i feel like now since the whole team is healthy um <clears throat> and everyone's you know everyone's back you know perfect timing um but um i'm feeling good you know like i said i'm feeling good and I'm feeling good with these guys and i feel like they trust me and i trust these guys how would you compare the vibe going into the postseason this season compared to last year as far as just the group right now? Um, I feel like the vibe is kind of the same kind of, you know, I feel like we're, we're confident, we're happy where we are, where the work, the work we put in. Um, travel's not as far, you know, <laughs> but we're feeling good. And after obviously missing just about two months now, and when you've been ramping up in this period, has there been an emphasis more so on conditioning, shooting? Like, what, is, what has been your main emphasis on the floor right now? Um, probably just conditioning, where my conditioning was at, and, you know, getting back to it and making sure I'm at an NBA type level of conditioning. And obviously, defense is such a big part of your game. Do you feel like almost the defense will help allow the offense come to you a little more naturally after kind of getting your feet under you? Um, for sure. You know, for sure. You know, I feel like defense is all about, you know, effort, you know, and, and wanting to do it. You know, that's what it comes down to. You know, offensively, you know, you, you can't, sometimes you can't help if you miss shots. You know, you can't help if the game goes a certain way, but you can help, you can, 
you know, determine your effort on defense and how hard you work on defense. Were you, I imagine you were at home watching last year's playoffs. Do you have like a highlight reel you watched to get yourself going to remember what it was like? Um, no, nah, not really. You know, I just, you know, I watch, you know, the, the games and, you know, some highlights, but nothing, you know, specific. I was watching since you know for you I guess appreciate uh, that the, the, the rebounding was the big like mm. I guess boost that you had in the playoffs yeah. uh, is that conditioning like you were talking about defense is kind of will is that like a physical thing or is that similar like it's will um kind of yeah it's kind of both you know just will hard work and you know, also condition. Even if you if you feel a little tired, just getting in, you know, tapping the ball back to your teammates. You know, they're trying to create, you know, another possession and more shots. You know, for the team, so they could be an advantage. People have always talked about like how freakish of an athlete you are. Like I remember even back at Kansas, like you don't get tired, that type of thing. Was it, when you went through the first two weeks, you were out, and then you came back, and the wind wasn't there. Was that the first time you had ever experienced like physically? You felt. Like not the normal Andrew Wiggins. I'm getting older now. <laughs> Maybe when I was a little bit younger, but um, yeah, you feel it. If, you know, if you don't play basketball for a while, you come back. Those first couple of days is gonna be a little rough. You know, just trying to get back into it. You know, that's not that's the hard part. You know, but after those first two days, you kind of not exactly up to speed, but you're close. I'm close. <laughs> That was sort of a little bit of my question, but uh, to part more on the conditioning part, uh, what do you feel sort of like your former self conditioning wise? Are there more gas or more to fill in the tank? Right now, I feel good. I feel good. I feel like, you know, the, the coaching staff, the training staff, um, I feel like they put me through you know, great workouts to you know, get me feeling like myself. I feel good. How much is like knowing last season that? Steph, Clay, Draymond, and I think you only played like 11 minutes in the regular season together, and then Steph came off the bench for the first few games in the first round. How much does that just give you confidence knowing that this can work even though you've been out of the lineup for the last two months? Oh yeah, we, we, we know it can work. You know, that's what makes this energy so positive around here. Um, you know we did last year, and we know we, what we can do this year. You know, it's on us. You know, we have the guys for it. You know, the coaches for it, we have the fans for it. I'm sure this video was interesting to you. Leave your comment because your opinion is important for our channel growth. Please share this video. Thanks for watching.